Hello all, Shoestring here. Today I am looking at another of the mini batteries. This one, oh, already cut the box open. It has a well, nice little information sheet on top. Show you that just a moment. And let's see how, what else we have. Foam and the battery itself. Here are two bolts that go with it, I'm quite sure. And uh, let's get the battery pulled out. So it is out of the box. It is a mini too, quite small, greener. Let you see it here just a moment. And uh, it was in plastic. And it had these little pieces of foam all around it. And that's all there was. I suppose this will act as the manual as well. Yeah, so it says greener power. Like I said, it's a mini. But so far, it seems fairly well constructed. So, I am going to charge this thing up. And then we're going to take it down and we're going to test it. While it's charging, let's go ahead and give you a quick look at its capabilities. Just so you'll know. And this way you can always come back to this if you're interested in this battery. And you can take a look and see if it's going to be right for you. Okay. And the other side simply tells you that you should wear gloves. And it only came at 30 to 50% capacity. I tested that when I took it out of the box, even though I probably should have showed you. The other paper that came with it was just questions and answers. Talks about five-year warranty, then 10 years, it appears, of priority support. All right, so simple questions and answers. Okay, finish charging it up and do the test on the computer. Then we'll come out and test it for real. Okay, folks, we have finished our computer test on this battery, and it has passed successfully. It does over 100 amp hours of power, but now we're going to do what I like to do, which is do a real world test. I have these, the battery set up on two alligator clips to this pure sine wave inverter and a kilowatt so we can see exactly how much watts we're using. I'm going to be using two fans. So we want to get the wattage as close to 100 as we can. And it should take 10 to 12 hours to discharge this battery. By the way, this is the smallest battery, even of the minis, that I have ever done. It's light. It's only about, what, I think I weighed it. It was right around 20 pounds. It's 9 inches long and 8.35 inches high, right? And about 5.4 inches long. And these terminals, when I first tried to get these terminals to move. They were very, very tight, unlike any other batteries I've ever had. I actually needed a wrench to take these off. So if you get this battery, if it's going to meet your needs, then um, remember that. You're going to need some tool to take the battery terminals to get these off. Okay, so let's go ahead and start working on our test. And as we do it, we will, of course, talk about the battery, but I want to show you how the test is going to be done first. This is just a cheap, pure sine wave inverter I got from AliExpress. We're going to turn it on. I've already powered the battery, charged it all the way up, and let it set. And it sets at about 13.7, 13.8. Let's go ahead and get our fans turned on. Let's not forget our switch. Connected to a power switch. There we go. Fans turned on. Take a look at our kilowatts. See what we have here. Make 
sure we have the watts. Okay, watts. Right now it's 81, 82. We need to get it a bit higher than that. So turn one of the fans on higher. All right, so we're at nine, right around 95. As the test goes on, the fan, of course, the numbers will bounce right around, and we want it really close to 100 without going over. As you see, because we have a load on, the inverter dropped to 13.2. And these batteries, by the way, since we're talking about them, has all the normal protection from the BMS you would expect. Has overcharge protection, over discharge, over current, short circuit, and over temperature. I don't believe it has a low temperature. I couldn't find that. So at the moment, we're going to say, no, it doesn't. It has what? I noticed it had a five year warranty, which is pretty good for a battery at this price point, and it will run. 4,000 up to 4,000 cycles, which means you can charge it up and discharge it every day, 365 days a year, for 10 years before it start to lose its capability. And even then, it will only go down to about 80%. Okay, so, oh, by the way, you can also put four of these in parallel, and you can put four of these in series, which is pretty standard for lithium batteries. So we are now going to let it run its test. I'll come back in a few hours and we'll see how we're doing. See you then. Hello folks. It has been, what, about six hours? Our timer says 5.51, so almost six hours since we started. It inverter says 12.8, which is good. Hopefully it will keep going. This is our halfway point. Fans are still running between 90 and 100. Let's check that watts. Yeah, right between 90 and 100. Great. It will fluctuate up and down. Battery still looking good. Okay, that's our halfway mark. I'll come back out in about 10 hours, or if it dies, and we'll see how we're doing. All right, we are back checking our greener power. I'm pretty sure how that's how you pronounce it. This should be our check for 10 hours, 96.4, and that's been fluctuating between 96 and 100. So let's check our kilowatt timer. And it says, yes, 10 hours and eight minutes, and it is still running strong. Go back to our watts. Right, 96, 95, like I said, it's going to move, and we're at 12.5, so this little battery, this little greener battery is doing an excellent job. We'll come back when it stops, or at 12 hours, and see precisely where we are, but this is our 10-hour check, and it is still running strong with two fans, and no problems so far. Okay. It has been over 12 hours, so this has successfully shined a light on that to pass this test. It's now been 12 hours and 7 minutes. And the inverter's at 11.5, so it's about to shut off on its own. Watts are at 95.69. It jumps around. It's right around 100. So we are very pleased this has passed the test. This, and like I said, I'm calling it a greener battery. I suppose that's the correct way to pronounce that. I'll go ahead and let this drain the rest of the way since we know it passes. And then I will charge it all the way back up and we have a su successful test. So, this works really well. If, uh, oh, by the way, if you like videos like this, please 
like and subscribe and share this with your friends if you think they enjoy tests like this. Uh, this is the second Mini, the smallest, this greener battery here, 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, and it does the job. So if you need something small to fit in a small area, but you want the 100 amp hours, which of course is 1280 watt hours, this would probably be a pretty good choice. Because like I said, it works really, really well. All right, so there it is. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, of course, put them down in the comments. I'll give you a link to this also. And shoestring out.